In today's video, can we finally push these massive Thracian armies back into Thrace whilst also dealing with the Antigonid menace in the north? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are here with another Epirus video in our RTR Imperium Serectum Cam. Pain. And yes, last time we had a pretty juicy bridge battle against the Pionians over here. And we also had a couple of nice little battles and sieges over there. And we got attacked by the Aetolians and Athens <laughs> at the same time. Great, thank you, AI. That's nice to see. Um, but I was a little bit harsh on the old phalangites, wasn't I, last time, guys? So. I have prepared a poem to say sorry to the glorious phalangites that are serving us and our army right now. It's very, very conciliatory. It's very, very nice. So I hope you enjoy. And it goes as follows. It's called, O Phalangite. O Phalangite. O Phalangite. You truly are a piece of shite. Whether in the day or dark of night, you truly are a piece of shite. I don't know how Alexander used you to fight the Persians, an empire of true might. Because phalangite, oh phalangite, you truly are a piece of shite. Oh Deuteroy, oh Deuteroy, I've hated you since I was a boy. Oh come here, don't be coy, you're a bastard, you Deuteroy. I hope an elephant will break you like a wooden toy, because I hate you. Oh, Deuteroy. Well, I hope the Phalangites take that as a satisfactory apology to them anyway. But I think we are going to move a few armies in this turn. We're going to leave behind 14 that actually no, we're not. We're going to merge this into there to hopefully get a bit more experience in that larger unit. And then we're going to move on to the next settlement, which is down here, Damale. Very nice. Let's get that on there. Very good. And I've been looking at these armies. And although that is a pretty darn good army, I'm not going to lie. I think we've got to go for it. I don't think we can wait. I mean, we could just go and try and defend the city. You know what? Let's do that instead. I'll bring this spy up here. Let's just go here and we may be able... To defend the city effectively against the Pionians. And if they attack us, we can take the defensive position as well. Which will be really nice. So I think that's the best option for us now. This Athenian army is just there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but uh, I think that's everything else we want to do. So let's press the end turn, guys. Let's see what happens with this Antigonid army. And, of course, the Pionians. I mean, this land up here is going to be very hard to hold, especially against the Seleucids and the GCS and all that sort of thing. But I think we will go up there at some point. But uh, let's press the end turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the Antigonids have attacked us there. That's absolutely fine. Great. Interesting. So the Pionians did break their siege. And now there's a plague in Pella. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, um... <laughs> I mean, it is a river crossing battle again. Hmm. If we had some Neocretans, potentially. No, there is not Neocretans available. How about if I come here? No. Ah. Well, because we're stuck by the bloody movement now. Hmm. It's just going to waste so many turns. Ideally, I want to come back to... Hmm. I did manage to save Iskirion from bugging out, by the way, guys, by swapping over the archers into here. So it looks like that's continued to bug out slightly. Uh, but let's have a look at this army. We've only got two Zista Four, right? I think we've got enough Phalangites, honestly. We'll keep those Ambrachiotes for one of our other armies so they can go... Oh, no, we want the archers here, don't we? So I think we'll get rid of one of these hoplites. And we will take the archers too. That's not a problem. And I think it's definitely time to go after the Aetolians. So let's just pop down here. The GCS still own this settlement, which I thought would protect us. That is a large Aetolian army. But I think we go straight for Oinodai. Let's get that sieged. 
definitely. And it's just a mess over here, isn't it? How is that rebel general just surviving? <laughs> Fair enough. Are they... <laughs> Why are you so far away, my friend? I feel like that's a very silly thing to do. Uh, but we've got some rioting in this place. That's fine. Uh, it's under siege, though, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Death stalks the land in Pella. Now, that's not good because Pella is a minus 12.5%. Well, at least it will allow us to, you know, build up our infrastructure around this area quite a bit. Is there any other good cities? I think we have looked at this a couple of times, but I don't think there is anywhere else that's really worth a shit when it comes to military around this region. So, yeah, it looks like Larissa is going to be the one then. And we are going up to level 3 Epiro recruitment in Larissa too. We just don't have the infrastructure there. So Ambrakia, for quite a while, is going to remain a uh, recruitment hub for us. Um, Antigonids are now at war with the Maidy. That's fantastic for us. And that has broken the Antigonids alliance with the Pionians. So I wonder if we could... Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. Um, microphone fell. <laughs> anyway, well, I wonder if we could get the Antigonids to... Uh, oh, sorry, the Pionians to be a little bit happier with us. Or maybe get an alliance with the Seleucids. No, absolutely not. They're not happy with that. I wonder whether we could get a ceasefire with Pionia, though. I should have probably checked these diplomats, but they're the Maidy. Would be nice to get an alliance with the Maidy as well. Um, just some alliances would be nice. I don't think we've got any. <laughs> oh, we got a couple of places upgrade. Fantastic for Nike itself, which has got a new Thurio 4, right? That's given us loads more building options. Oricon as well. So both of these could get the next level ship, right? How much? 460. Very good indeed. And what about this one? Not quite as good, but still very good. I think we'll queue those in then for now. I think that's the best option for us in the long run. So let's have a look at what else we want to do. So what do we want to do with Alexander? I mean, they do have a lot of archers and all that sort of thing in this army, which does scare me somewhat. But I still feel like we can bait them into crossing the river. So, I mean, and the three generals as well. Oh, I, th I feel like we can bait them, but look how much damage we took in the last river crossing. <laughs> I still feel like this is very much worth it. I mean, night battle's not going to make a difference. So, let's get in this battle then. Another bridge battle, or, well, at least a crossing battle against the Darn Thracians. Well, it looks like the one bad thing about this crossing compared to the bridges is that there is no other river crossing here. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can't exactly tell, but, I mean, obviously, it's got these grey areas either side. So, it's got to be just be one. So, if we can force them across, we're going to be good. If we have to go across, I very much think we'll have to retreat. But thinking about it, retreating from here would actually not be that bad because we'd either retreat to Pella or down south. So, it wouldn't be too problematic. So, let's press the start button. And let's see whether they do think that they are hard enough to take us on. I think they will think they are. But it's a very big river. So we can't even shoot them ac like across here. But apparently we can like... Apparently this river crossing is very wide. I mean on the map. If we zoom right into the map. Kind of makes it look like the river crossing is all the way wide up to here. But I don't think they will come across that way. Their hoplites. I wonder if we can fire in the river. So let's try that out and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so we can kind of shoot from in there. But it hasn't brought them across. They are doing the right thing right now and just taking a defensive position. So, I mean, we definitely can't push against this. I mean, although, let's have a look at what they have. I mean, we just get slaughtered by their missile troops. They have so many Peltas and archers and slingers. So what I'm likely going to do is wait this out to see whether they do decide to attack. And if they don't, we will retreat. And that shall be a long retreat for us. So it'll be quite good. So let's see what happens. And uh, let's see if we can bait them across. Well, no, it very much looks like that they are not going to come. 
So we are going to retreat. First of all, though, we're going to take all these guys off phalanx mode so they're able to run. And then we're going to go. We're going to leave. And hopefully we retreat in a good direction. I don't know where. Hopefully not Pella, though, because, of course, we are, you know, <laughs> have plague there. So let's get out. Very wide river. And we're just not going to push across that and have any successful outcome, especially with such a damaged army. I don't think it's worth it. So, yeah, sometimes you've got to take a defeat or a loss or a retreat rather than a Pyrrhic victory in this game, guys. So let's press withdraw and let's go. Okay, so that retreat wasn't great. At least we didn't retreat into Pella itself. But we did retreat right next to the Athenian army. And seeing as they're both at war with us, if they attack us... Yeah, it's not going to be good, but <laughs> that's fine. I mean, let's go do a successful battle then, the battle for Damale. So let's get on with that. Should be nice and quick, and I will edit it very much down like usual, my friends. So the standard technique has not worked at all. For some reason, the archers just don't seem to be able to fire through here. And it's not because I've had the uh, the horsemen here. I'm going to move them forward slightly, see if they can actually start firing now. See, they can fire over, but it, they still have to fire really high up. And here they come. And we're getting jabbies in them now, so they will actually start moving. So we are going to use our men properly here. Ideally, you know, the, f uh, the phalangites being off the uh, town square is the most important thing, to be fair. So these guys, if they get... Say they get there. That would actually be the best option for us. And we'll get here. Keep your fire at will for now. Uh, where's my general? Let's bring the old general around this way. And let's see if we can bait these guys off as well. Because it looks like they want to come off. Are you guys running? Like, is that supposed to be running? Like, it's not really running, is it? But here we go with the phalangites. Yes, they're going to keep coming. Go, 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 go. Just keep going. Keep going, Thurio 4. I don't mind if you take a few losses. Right, that's fine. So, uh, what do I want to kill? Probably the Phalangites, honestly. I don't mind just, be, like, fighting these Macedonian hoplites one by one. So, let's bring them around. Let's see if you will fire and war cry. They would be ideal for the back of these guys, honestly. So, I'll probably uh, mess them up slightly by sending them the wrong way. But let's now put you on fire at will. Should be able to fire. Fire, please, guys. And then don't charge. No. Why do they do this? Why do they do this? I don't get it. Like, you, why can you not? They're literally there. Fire? Fire? Oh, my God. Wow. Well done. It took you running the wrong way for ages. As soon as they fire as well, I've got to press backspace. Now backspace. Now fire. Fire this time. There we go. Okay. Okay. Getting slightly better. Tell them to fire as well. Looks like they are going to actually fire as well. Now you can charge them. That should break them, hopefully. And let's see. Where's the old general? Right. Come up here, my friend. Which way are you going? Why is that way faster? It's not. <laughs> it might be, to be fair, actually. You guys fire at them. We are losing that, that of course. But we will push these guys off eventually. So, it's not a problem. We've still got, we've still got Javis left to go as well. So, that's not bad. In fact, let's save you. We don't need you in there for now. You guys keep coming. Let's see if we can do a couple of cheeky charges on the Macedonian Hoplites with Akilos. Akilos, the boss man. Let's go. Get in there, my friend. Get in there. I'm surprised this Chalka Speedy hasn't broken. But we will uh, we'll do a couple of charges, guys. You don't want to see all this uh, gubbins. So uh, let's uh, let's do a couple of charges, and then we'll be good. God damn, this general must have so little morale because everyone, I'm not joking, everyone is breaking. The Thurio Foroi that were attacking these guys in the back hadn't even been attacked by the Macedonian hoplites yet. But they broke with 70-odd men. So I don't know how that's happened, but... Apparently it has. So that's not excellent. I'm not going to lie. Here they come. They come. They're coming back, which isn't great for us because it doesn't really matter what they do now. 
So we're going to just have to mass the men. Either that or hold them for two minutes. I, I don't know. They might they might not return around, which would be quite funny. <laughs> if we just win this by two minutes. Either that or we need to bring these guys all the way through this way. So that's what we're trying to do. But god damn, we must have very low morale here. Very low indeed. Oh well, the AI was just dumb and stayed away. So even with the horrible, horrible routing situation... <laughs> They still lost, so uh, glorious. I mean, look at that. 310 casualties they inflicted. 120 on this 304 oi. So you're telling me, on very hard, so our 304 oi that are much better than the Macedonian hoplites are, killed 22 and lost 120 men. Wow, if that doesn't show you how hard very hard is then I don't know what will. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it is, in fact, stupid. But anyway, uh, glory... And look at the duty... <laughs> uh, if there's an ever an advertisement for my hatred of Deuteroy, here it is. That is shocking. I think I may have messed up and not put them in phalanx mode, but they were in phalanx mode. So... For quite a while, so I, I don't know whether I pressed something that took them off it for a little bit, but... Oh, horrible, horrible battle. We won in the end, so that's all that matters, right? <laughs> so let's just occupy this one as well. Let's get rid of that. It is an Illyrian settlement, so they're going to be slightly unhappy. What temple do we have? Dionysus again. It seems like Dionysus everywhere for the Macedonians, which is actually fine. Now we've got to somehow get this army <laughs> back across to deal with the other guys. Oh, dear me. What an awful, awful army. I mean, I'll leave actually those in. I'm still unhappy. I think the unrest will go down next turn, so that's fine. No problem with that one. In fact, we will queue in a sewer for now. Just to make sure. And what is in this army? I mean, it's a lot better than what we have. That's for that's for certain. Is there any mercenaries? Absolutely not. Let's pop over here into this province. There may be mercenaries available here. No, there is none. So, let's have a look. I mean, those three can be discounted. They're pretty damaged. So, we're looking at a Thurioforoi, a Hoplite, and a Chalka Speeders. Plus a Uzonoi, a Prodromoi, and a Zistaforoi. Well, with our completely battered and bruised army, I think we can beat this. But uh, if this guy has the uh, the morale of a... I don't even know what's got low morale, but he's got not very good. Unlucky leader, it would seem. So I guess he's got zero bonuses or negatives to morale. Um, so it's just being on very hard, I guess. You'd think I would be used to it by now, but sometimes... It comes and bites you and surprises you nonetheless. So let's get this battle done, though, guys. And, of course, they decided to stand right on top of the hill for us to attack. So, I mean, not unexpected, to be fair, but uh, let's go then. I just hope our hoplites have enough metal in them to not rout straight away like what they've been doing <laughs> in the last couple of battles. So let's see. Let's also get our Prodromoi... Uh, do we, I think cavalry-wise, we'll go around the right flank for now just to bait them. Uh, so let's keep coming. Looks like the Prodromoi is going to uh, keep on going, so we'll just go through. You guys, we need to hold that guy in there, so let's go with that. Let's see if we can surround them with those boys. We'll come forward too. We're also going to get this Prodromoi to go after them. You guys need to fully surround this Chalka Speeders. We're going to go after the Thurio Foroi. Our general has, like, no men right now. So, let's deal with that Zistaforoi. There we go. And let's also bring our hoplites around this way. You guys deal with the Prodromoi. Oh, you... I, he must have something to do with his morale because... It's saying nothing, but this has, like, become a bit of a joke now. <laughs> like, how did these guys run so quickly? We are breaking them. So let's come around this way. We'll get you guys in here. You guys can attack as well. That's going to be good. Go for that one. Yep. Are they broken? No. Let's rally these men. Let's see whether they'll come back. 
No, fully broken. So we got those guys there. We got these guys in the fight. And I forgot to do Warcry again because they went in the fight pretty darn quickly. I do not think we win this, especially not if that happens. Oh, God. Oh, honestly, where is this fucking morale coming from? Like, we would have been fine if they'd have managed to hold off with the morale for a bit. But anyway, let's get off that and let's just go for the charge here. Let's watch us lose this as well. And this is only a captain, remember, we are playing against, guys. And another one has routed, unfortunately. So, not ideal. The one thing you can say, though, is the Celts this time are actually holding up. So, let's bring the Prodromoi back and let's see if we can do anything with this cavalry at all. I mean, probably not. What is that unit doing? Who is it chasing? But, yeah, no, we're not going to survive that. No, definitely not. Oh, dear. Right, well, let's get out of here. Let's save the Prodger Boy while we can. Awful, awful, awful morale from these boys. Although, ooh, we do have these guys back. I don't think we can win now, though. <laughs> I mean, no, let's go. There's, there's no point. There's absolutely no point in continuing with that. So, everyone, run for the hills, yes. Completely what we should do. Run for the hills. And uh, hopefully no one else gets caught. We shall see. If they are, we will turn the Prodromoy around. So we're just going to keep the Prodromoy here for now. Just to make sure it screens off our forces. Stop attacking them, you fools. For us to attack them. Oh, that was Zistaphoroi. Not Prodromoy. Wait, did we kill it, though? I don't know. Where did it go? <laughs> it seems to have disappeared. These guys have come back. Now they're gone. Well, a gloriously unglorious defeat once again. Are you fucking kidding me? What a joke of a battle. This morale is awful. Awful, awful morale from our bloke. Oh, dearie me. I don't think Akilos is strong enough to really do anything right now. Even this tiny, shitty army, he doesn't have the morale for. Oh, what are you doing? I didn't even realize... Why do you have to run all the way back that way to retreat? Fuck me. And another awful defeat. Are oh, you joking? Well, it wasn't a defeat last time, but... Uh, I mean, that settlement is not good. <laughs> it's not really bringing us anything, so I don't mind. It's just annoying we're going to have to completely rebuild this army after it took us a little while to build it. But, oh well, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Fuck you, Akilos, and your shit... Shit, unlucky leader, morale. And that was the worst retreat we could have done. At least we'll be there, though, if they do attack in the city. Well, they're not going to this turn, but if we do, then that's fine. I mean, it's been, been a pretty unfortunate uh, passage of time right now, hasn't it? So let's look at Larissa. What can we get? I mean, we just need to spam out more troops. That's the main thing right now. <laughs> Give me more troops, my friends. More troops. Whatever they are, even if they're garrison troops, I don't mind. Let's take them. It looks like we're going to be losing a little bit of land for a little while. Um, that 304, you can go into Ambrakia for now, just to bolster it up. Unhappy there, we know. Okay, let's press the end turn, and we are in a very precarious situation here. Um, apart from Iskirion, we may have to move him north again. If we, you know, defeat this army... I think Achilos can come down south and Iskirion can uh, trade upwards into the north, which would be fantastic for us. Are these guys just not... Okay, they do have garrisons. I was going to say, it looks like they don't. But okay, let's press the end turn and let's see how bad it's going to be next turn. Spin that wheel. Well, the Athenians are going after this city. No problem. That's fine. We'll come back and we'll wipe the Athenians out at some point as revenge. But for now... Let's do that. No casualties inflicted on them, but to be expected, to be fair. So one good thing is the fact that this army did just change its siege onto Lycnidos, which is actually a better city. So not ideal, but also not horrendous at the same time. So I think we go back to Fenike if we can. Looks like the GCS are gearing up to attack us now too. Oh, come on, man. Come on, just give us a break at some point, please. Please just give us a break somewhere. Somehow we need a break. 
Well, let's get on the boat here. I mean, it's the... Oh, no, we can actually walk all the way back to Ambrakia. Well, this army definitely needs it. So let's do that. Let's also make sure that we are recruiting what we need in this army for Ambrakia. We've got three Zista four. I always like to have four, but I do like the Athamanian Peltas too. Hmm. I think we'll go for another Zista four. They're going to be more useful in the long run, especially over a number of battles. So we're bringing everyone back pretty much away from the front lines. I know it's scary doing that. This guy hasn't died in Pella yet, which is good. Let's go in Thessalonica then. Uh, Athens has just stayed inside the settlement afterwards, which is not a problem at all. Let's go for some more Thurio Foroi there. We're basically trying to recruit everywhere we can now, just so we can get some more troops to the front line, because, of course, we are pretty screwed at this moment. So I think for that other army, we'll go for some Deuteroi. And we've got some new family members. That's good. That means we haven't over, you know, got uh, adoptions in there. Ceasefire with Athens and the Boeotians. That's not good for us. Uh, allies all over the place. Anyone interesting in there? I mean, Adrissians and Thracians, potentially. Kabile and Pontic Pentapolis. That's a little bit far away from us for now. So that's not going to make too much difference. Berger did get a, uh, a siege thing. I, I don't know... Uh, we do want that port in there, though. Let's have a look at that. Two gold. Somehow, I don't think that's true. But I'm going to trust it. <laughs> we can't afford to waste any money at the moment. So, let's look. Let's go from... Let's go from size of city. Where are we? Let's go for... Uh, where is it? Population growth? Governor? No. No, level. What, what am I doing? Level. There we go. So, Baroya over here, which is a very rich settlement. Let's see if we can make it richer. What do we want in there? Not the academy. I mean, the Agora only gives 15. Because <laughs> it's not making a lot of money from trade, actually. So, there isn't really much we can do about increasing its value over here. Unless we've got... That, I mean, a population growth would be good from a temple. So let's go for that one. Let's reorganize that. I wish it would remember the org that you do. Odessa Botishaya. Let's go for the sewers. And then, okay, we're not we're not organized again. Um, <laughs> Korkira over here. I mean, Korkira, probably nothing that's really that important for us right now. Public baths, Agora, roads, that's fine, walls, hmm, yeah, nothing really worth it there, Lycnidos is under siege, Pesaron down here, let's go for the Agora, very expensive building, but probably worth it in the long run, um, and then Thessalonica, definitely want to keep upgrading Thessalonica, so... Might be worth going for the crop rotation here. How much trade have we got? 1,000. That's quite good. So I'm going to build the Agora. It doesn't seem like much, but it's going to keep adding up over time. And then in Dasaretta Podoblis, let's go for repairing that. And let's build the standard trader. We've still got some cash, and I'm willing to keep hold of that. Oh my god, this army's now got plague. That's fantastic. Yes! Okay, the plague is uh, reducing somewhat. It was at 12.5% negative, so that's actually quite good for us. We do have this battle to do. I'm considering auto-resolving this. 66, yeah, I don't mind that at all. And if it's all Deuteroy, not a problem. Let's also enslave here. Has that done anything? That has grown Demale over this way. Well, we'll build that next turn, and they are going to get slightly unhappy, aren't they, very soon? Hmm... This rebel army could do with moving. Would be nice to get a good recruitment area down here. So that is going to be Thermon, very likely. So let's move on. Let's leave behind those Greek archers as good garrison troops. Stay on low, 70%, not a problem. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of them again. Zero kills for them, no problem. And let's go after Thermon. Why is Sparta here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what is Sparta doing here? 
We need a spy down this region, don't we? <laughs> Let's find a place where we can get a spy. We can get one there. Let's get that uh, instead. Very nice. Let's get a spy all the way down there. That's not a problem. I say we're going to probably lose a couple of settlements here, maybe, in the long run. but In the short term, but I think in the long run, it's fine. We just need Alexander's army to get repaired. We had a lot of brutal battles. And then I think we can clear up these guys and potentially just clear up the rest of this really quickly so that we don't have to, you know, deal with the Antigonids anymore in this region. Achilos has moved. Everyone's moved. Right, let's end the turn there. We've got, I know we've got a decent amount of money, but we're going to save it for next turn. So let's spend the end turn and see what happens. Quick. Our oh. patience is limited. Oh, okay. Yep, I completely forgot about you. Apparently, it's very demanding to offer them a ceasefire, even though... We may have common enemies now, but okay, fine. And the Scordisky want to trade? That definitely is an option. <laughs> I'm just looking at the traits of this diplomat. He's awful. I mean, it has probably... It is because we've been offering things that are demanding to people and have not been paying attention, but he's a liar, damaged reputation, and a drunkard. I mean... I would be a d drunkard if, you know, you were a diplomat. Your whole purpose in life is to be a diplomat. And you have an undamaged uh, reputation. Uh, undiplomatic, uh, sorry, a damaged reputation. And people know you to be a liar. So, uh, you will accept oh, the trade rights. How about an alliance? Okay, no. <laughs> How about some money? <laughs> yeah. They are wealthy, so let's go for 2,000. Okay, I'll call. take the 2,000. No problem. So, apparently, the Athenian army isn't plagued anymore. <laughs> They've been standing in our land for so long. Surely they should be getting, uh, you know, belt titan trait. But I guess it's a captain and not a general. So I wonder whether that even applies if it is a uh, a general, whether it's a general or not. So we'll come into here with a key loss. Let's make sure we can afford to retrain everyone this turn. That's why we needed some extra money. Uh, Argos Arresticon is not too happy. That's fine. That just means we're going to have to spend some more money. More Aetolian diplomats. The Aetolian League, their single hoplite is sieging us down. Lignidos is still under siege. And now we have Pyrrhos. Yes, we do. Pyrrhos of Epirus. Let's have a look at his traits. I believe he is Alexander's son. Let's just check that. Yes, he is. He is Alexander's son. Is he Alexander's older son? No, Leo Caris is... Ah, uh, no, those are adoptions. This is his oldest trueborn son, I guess. So, Pyrrhos, you are going to be the new heir, my friend. Let's have a look at his traits, though. I'm going to do that for thematic reasons. Like, I'm not doing it based on what traits he has. He is slow, charismatic, and spiritless. <sighs> oh, impact the general bonuses, such as influence, troop morale, command, hit points, and management. Oh, dear. He's unreliable. He's selfish and pessimistic. He's green, of course. Well-supplied, social drinker. Insensitive ruler, so he gets a bit of lore. Firm personal morality. He's an epirote. He's an unwilling linguist. And, of course, he's a factionaire. But if Ptolemaios is better, I'm not <laughs> against, you know, changing our minds about that, should we say. <laughs> um, at least there's a few wars going on that are not wars on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say right now. I like, literally everything else is going awful. <laughs> and Brachia now got a ship right. That's good for us. Um, I think it's time to get the armorer. Let's go for the armorer then in Ambrachia. Let's get some better, better traits for our men. Some better armor and weapons. And how much money do we have? Let's make sure we get rid of these guys out of there so we know who was in there before. Let's get in, and let's retrain everyone we can. First of all, though, of course, merging, so we don't need to train everyone quite as much. Let's get one of you, and now you into there, you into there. So we've got two full ones there. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Oh, dear. Hmm. Just went into that a bit, a bit hot, didn't we? Oh dear, well, that's okay, because we should be getting some more Deuteroy over that way, which we can swap these guys in with. So let's retrain um, all the small units first, please. So them, 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 and them. 
And the Athamanians can't actually retrain either. Hmm. Well, actually, you can actually go into there properly now. So that's one less person. So we can train another Athamanian. Anyone else? No, they're all so small. So we may have to be here for two turns. That's not ideal. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But it's not awful either. Did they just spawn more men in here? I could have sworn it wasn't quite as bigger garrison before. How is Athens just everywhere? Athens just has tendrils <laughs> everywhere. Where did we get that spy, by the way? Right, let's come and have a cheeky look down here. We can actually fit through here, which is quite good uh, for once. What is there? What was that army? That was Greek city-states. That's fine. Looks like, you know, the Aetolians are not so protected. The Antigonids have pretty much killed the Boeotian League. So the Antigonids are pretty strong down south, it seems, at the moment. Oh, they don't have Athens anymore. That's why Athens is everywhere. Well, I think if we can just chain through the Antigonids and just hold off the Achaeans for a little bit, I think we'll be okay in this area because we're mainly going to be just dealing with the Antigonids and just going for Antigonid land. That's why they've managed to keep strength because they're pretty strong down there in the south. Um... And they're doing well there compared to how they've done in the north. So that is kind of their new kingdom. Just the Peloponnese and Attica. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Um, what else do we want to be doing here then? I, with our money potentially. I don't think there's much else we want to do. Not anything really we can train too much more of. Let's go for another archer there. Let's also go for maybe another 304 Roy. I'm considering bringing Pyrrhus along in our army. So let's get him into Ambrakia. That that's fills another space. So we just need two spaces to be filled. One of them is going to be a Zistaforoi. And I would like the other to be an actual missile unit. <laughs> so let's get a Greek archer. We just use them for garrisons for so much. So we don't really put them in the armies very much. But that's fine for now. Three 304 right in there. We did put them in there for safekeeping, didn't we? So they can go back into there. Train them back up so they don't die of the plague. Um, and I think that's good. Let's... We did want to save money, though, didn't we? Let's get rid of that. Do we have enough to expand Damale? Because we do need to do that ASAP. Not quite. Well, we're going to have to retrain a second turn anyway down here. So let's just save some money by doing that. And let's build that in there too. Fantastic. Right, let's end the turn there. And let's see what happens with the Antigonids, Paeonians, everyone, Aetolians. I know. Forgot about this. Well, let's do this battle. I kind of want this army to come and attack us, man. How many turns? Five turns until that's dead. Uh, are they just going to keep spawning more troops in? Because they have Epilectoi as well. That is an insanely good unit. I really don't want to be fighting any Epilectoi right now. <laughs> when we can hardly get the shit munchers at the bottom tier. Good lord, good lord. I mean, we do have Ambrakiotes now and Zistafore, but Epilectoi is just another level above them by quite some way. So, uh, yeah, let's press the end turn and we'll wait one more turn just to see what happens and see whether we can maybe, you know, reduce this guy, these guys down slightly more as well. Well, that war didn't last long. Kabile is dead already. I mean, they do normally start only with one settlement, so that makes sense. The Antigonids did take Lycnidos back, which obviously is not ideal, but uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, Lycnidos, we've got more agents everywhere, just <laughs> everywhere. Oh, come on, Skordisky, please. <laughs> Why, we can get no allies. The Antigones can just ally with anyone, it seems. They just, they just don't care. They're at war with, like, ten people. They can just ally with whoever they want. That's fine. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Good lord. Not ideal. Well, let's pop this in here. Let's make sure we get those two. Let's also go for another Athamanian. They can join us in the future. Let's get these guys. I think it's a, a weapon bonus. So we'll pop... That in there too. This army led by Achilos. What I'm thinking is. We just basically fill it with mercenaries. 
um, and use it to, you know, take out the Antigonids over this way. So there's no mercenaries available here. God's sake. <laughs> oh, good lord. Good lord. This is very, very tough. Very, very tough, I've got to say. Although we did want you in there. You can be a garrison troop anyway. That's fine. Um, okay, yeah. Apparently, Thermon is just just building more troops. <laughs> just spawning more and more troops. I didn't know that was possible. I thought that they would spawn a doom stack at some point. But I didn't think that they could just spawn more and more troops inside the city. That seems kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> if I'd known that, we would have attacked. But now I just don't, I don't think it's worth attacking. Especially with all these troops. Greek slingers as well. Well, how many turns? I mean, four more turns. We could do with that army. I mean, we, we, we don't need that army, really, do we? We're in a siege race over here. Ah. It's not my, uh, it's not normally my play to be, to be, uh, cautious. But the other thing is, if we get here and then we're attacked by the Achaeans, we're just in another world of pain. <laughs> Oof. Although we can go back to, to retrain very quickly from here. Uh, it'd be a big, big siege battle, so that would be quite fun. And it is Thermon as well. And then we could do a draw-out battle on now Pactos, potentially. Hmm. It's just going to be pain, though, isn't it? We're going to lose so many men. And, you know, money is not exactly amazing right now. It's, it's not awful, but it's not good. So... Wasting money on that is not really something I want to do. Um, let's have a look. Let's get the next level of walls for that extra law in there. That'll build the population. Uh, it won't. I think it's neutral population, right? Yeah, but law will be quite good for us in case there's corruption or anything like that. In fact, that is just a wasted building. What am I? I'm going mental because of a, <laughs> because of a challenge here. We're just impulse clicking things. I don't want to do that. We need to calm down and just think about everything carefully. So, I think, honestly, over time, four turns, it is not exactly terrible. And what might happen is if they get some more troops, they may sally out. I mean, one thing's for certain. If we do wait one more turn, we're definitely not attacking. So, we've got to be wary of that. But I think that is better. So, in the long run, probably going to be better than wasting... Because if we think about it, we wait four turns. So... If we took that now, we'd spend a turn taking that, going back to Ambrakia for retraining, which would take another one or two turns. That's three turns already, and then coming back. So the four-turn wait is not exactly awful. It is kind of, when you think about it like that, it, it's pretty similar time frame to doing anything else. So I don't mind doing that. I, I think it's fine. Let's look to see if we can build anything in Korkira. Not really. Let's build the Agora then. Even though they don't provide basically any bonus anymore. <laughs> it's something. It's something. We need to clasp onto something here, guys. <laughs> we need to grab onto something while the pain just, you know, fills my body. <laughs> God. This is horrible. This is absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible scenes going on right here. I mean, Oinadai... Whatever. I don't care. Do what you want, man. Do what you want. You're not going to siege it down, so fine. Right. Let's end the turn, then. Let's see what happens. Okay, so Pella now doesn't really have the siege anymore, which is good. It's also it's also given the plague to one of their agents, which is okay, but that agent could potentially, uh, you know... <laughs> Take the seat, take the uh, plague somewhere else. I mean, we could have done that actually to the uh, Antigonids or something as a bit of a joke, but that's fine for now. It's fine for now. We have built that in Ferai. That's actually fantastic. Second level, what will allow us to get? We can pretty much get everything, so I think we have to go for the level three there too. As quick as possible, please. <laughs> and did they get any more? Though they didn't get any more troops this time. So let's uh, at least wait it out for a few more turns. Alexander is angry right now. Look at his face. He is angry. Do we need the Prodromoi? I could swap those out for um, a Thurio Foroi, potentially. I think one unit 
Oh, we're getting the uh, Athamanians, aren't we? So we'll take the Athamanians instead. Alexander, though, where are we going to send him? I mean, the obvious answer is up here. They probably are going to attack next turn. We're going to lose that. So I think we go after the Athenians up here. Get rid of them as quick as possible. Retake uh, Tarona and then take these areas. I think we'll have enough. It just depends what Paeonia decides to do. Um, Achilos, my friend, are there mercenaries? No, no mercenaries again. Mm, I don't think we can get to the settlement in time. Well, let's attack that unit to start with. Oh, we can actually get to the settlement. Mercenaries? No. How about down here? Mercenaries? No. Well, Achilos, it looks like you can redeem yourself against the same army <laughs> that we lost to last time. Please, please, do not let all the men rout. <laughs> like, like what happened last time. Before we do that, though, let's just check everything else. I think, honestly, like, these guys need to come and join Akilos. Like, we, we can't just have them standing around. Same with the Thurioforo. And we'll actually have a pretty darn decent army if we actually combine all these guys. So you guys come up there, too. Archers as well. Anyone else... Uh, in these areas that are available. I mean, this 304 right up this way, but we're going to use them very soon. Uh, looks like Ellis has come over here now too. Great. Fantastic. Nice to see you, Ellis. <laughs> but let's go for this battle. Akilos may be able to redeem himself. Let's see. Here we go. Charging towards them with the uh, Celtic mercenaries at the front. War cry, my men, and then do what you want. I would love you to take all of the shots from the Uzonoi as we're going. That'd be fantastic. You guys could get straight in the Uzonoi. These poor Deuteroi are a little bit tired already. So let's keep coming. Let's also put the Phalanx down now. Let's also put the Phalanx down here. And let's deal with the uh, Hoplites ASAP too. You guys can maybe come off the Phalanx for now. You guys get there, ideally out of the fight. And let's try and surround at least one of these guys with this. Get going. Get going. Let's go. Let's go. You guys, ideally, let's go over this way. And then let's get our cavalry all the way around to try and uh, mess with their cavalry. And uh, we might get double sandwiched here, but I don't mind that at all if we're going to take those guys out pretty quickly. What I need these guys to do is to deal with this Chalcospedes. But if this unit is going to come and do that... What is that? The Zistaphoroi. They have just kind of gone for a little bit of a crazy charge there. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Let's go after the Prodromoi then. Let's go, boys. So we are going to get double sandwiched. That's not a problem. Let's get you off guard mode for now. Same with you guys. Don't know how you're dying so quickly. What is killing you so quickly? Genuinely, what is killing you so quickly? You guys fire at them. Right, we're going to come around this way, and we're going to charge into the back of the Macedonian Hoplites. These guys are now broken, so you guys turn around. That'd be good. And then let's get over here. Oh, looks like the Celts have survived so so far. Look at those Hoplites. Dead again. Oh, my God. Really? Really? It's not ideal, is it? Not good. Oh, look at these guys. So someone said to take them off guard mode, and it makes them so much better. I really don't think it has. <laughs> Maybe they've got too thin a line, as usual. These hoplites have now come back from routing after routing with 112 men. Deary me. Deary me. Come on. We've got to, got to at least break that unit, surely, with that charge. Ikilos has to be the, the unluckiest general of all time. Come on, my friends. Or just the shittest. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Both are very possible. Anyone else retreating? No. Okay, they're going for that now. So let us go again for the charge in there. You guys get after them. There we go. Fight, fight, fight. Put your thing down. There we go. That's what we like to see. Hopefully we can break someone at least. These are double silver experience guys. That's probably why... We found it so hard to break them. Let's get out again. You guys now face them, please. These guys are just running around all over the place and somehow not getting killed. Great. Love that. 
Oh, you idiots. Honestly, just just run away. I, you, I do not I do not accept you anymore. You are rejected as a unit in our army. You guys turn around. Yeah, keep firing the Javis. Keep firing the Javis, men. Get off. There we go. We've broken that unit now. Good. Go after them. And we'll come back slightly. You guys should be firing at them if you can. And you guys, let's surround them. I'm not going to use the cavalry because they just die un uh, needlessly against these boys. But look how weak the Deuteroy are. <laughs> Two fully formed units of Deuteroy at the start of this. And now they are nothing but shells of their former selves. Wow. Absolute trash. Absolute piece of shit. Awful trash. I don't know why I ended the battle there. I meant to press continue. But yeah, you can see equal casualties when we had a good surround on like half of their army. <laughs> good lord. Good lord. Things are not going well in the northwest, are they? Well, at least we can continue with this army. Not that it's, you know, very good. Um, I'd also quite like a watchtower here. I know it's a bit of a waste of a... Really? Just gives that extra little bit? At least we can see the score disky coming if they do come. Let's also get back the spy around this way. Oh, hello. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I just, I don't think we could even, we could even come close to beating an army with two Chalka Speeders in it. Like, a Deuteroy just cannot hold the candle to them. They are awful compared to them. They really struggle. They really do struggle. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's at least end the turn and see whether we're going to get attacked by Ellis now. <laughs> So let's do that and let's see what happens. So a couple of things have happened. The Antigonids have, of course, decided to attack Pella. Um, great. Don't mind that, though. That's actually fine for us. Some more wars going on. No one really that interesting to us right now. Hmm. Two turns until that's done. That's great. And again, the Aetolians are sieging us down. But Athens has come and sieged us down up here, too. So Athens just really just needs to fuck off, honestly. <laughs> They're just making everything so much worse. For no reason. Thank you, Athens. I, I really do appreciate it. Let's get some more Ambrakiotes. Let's also bring the Athamanians through. You're going to go there. And Alexander, you are able to go all the way up to there and attack those boys. Not the best of armies, definitely. And we should have a commander good enough to, you know... Not for everyone to retreat all at once. We've also got this as a potential draw-out battle, and they will accept it. Hmm. Well, let's see. I think, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to end it there. And just put a put a wall up, put a blinker on this episode. <laughs> but if you have enjoyed, a like and subscribe would be really good. <laughs> uh, but we'll just put a... Uh, we'll box this episode off as... Quite a setback of an episode, really. Um, we've definitely gone backwards, which is never great. Um, but yeah, who thought very hard and extreme mode would be hard? I mean, it's very difficult. <laughs> Especially when your troops are made of paper. That doesn't help. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been pretty difficult, this episode. I think we'll just call it a day there. And next episode will be the resurgence of us. This will be the resurgence of of our armies coming ready to fight off these last remaining Antigonids. I mean, I think this is the border. I think this is the edge. Yeah, because that's Skordisky land. That means we're going to get attacked by the Skordisky. Great. Um, fantastic. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, hopefully take Thermon, which will be a good little recruitment hub for us too. Now Pactos as well. And then it's just dealing with the Antigonids down in the south, which... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to deal with. Look at the amount of stacks they have down here as well. Good lord. And then once we've dealt with them, we can attack Athens. Hopefully clean up Athens here because it'll just stop them being so annoying. <laughs> Which I know is hard for them to not be annoying, but they are incredibly annoying right now. So uh, yeah, that'll be good. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.